I'm pulling out from the dealership right now. I went to Enterprise and I told them, hey, this thing had a flat last night or it's leaking because there's only 28 pounds of pressure. And they went ahead and sent me here next door to a car dealership, sat here for two hours while they fixed it. But that tire up there, it had a hole in it and another one in the tread or something. So it had two holes side by side that were leaking. And so I'm really glad I didn't drive down to Moab and Natural Bridges on this. So welcome to night 21. No, that was last night, 22. Welcome to night 22. We're heading down to the Moab area. I'm thinking Dead Horse Point tonight, but we'll see how it goes. Time to drive. Under the palm trees in the California sun. Sand underneath our feet, the morning's just begun. Oh, I wish that you could stay. Honestly, good morning again because by the time I got here I had three hours until the moon was going to rise or I'm sorry and the moon will be actually set and so I had a lot of time to sleep I'm right here in the parking lot of Dead Horse Point just taking a couple hour snooze in the truck and now I have about a half an hour oh I'm holding my phone right I have about a half an hour before the moon sets maybe more like 20 minutes and so I'm gonna walk out to my position capture the terrain with the moonlight and then hope that this gap this window that I have a picture of it right here you can see that gap right there I'm hoping that gap will spread or get open more because the clouds the clouds oh, all the predictions and everything pointed to not to worry about any clouds whatsoever and I'm still having to worry about clouds ah. The great thing about Dead Horse Point is that the walk from the parking lot to where you're going is not hard. I want to show you guys this beautiful place. So just parked over there and then I walked up this pathway right here. What a view this place is. I mean, amazing view. Would have been fantastic to have had moonlight lighting this terrain and a Milky Way over there going vertical. That would have been amazing. And if the clouds were perfect, I would have been in my favorite spot near a curvy tree that's over there, which I can't point at and talk to you about because it. I'm just too tired to deal with the sun right now. So, Dead Horse Point wasn't a failure last night, but it certainly was close with the whole clouds. And now there's not a cloud in the sky. Well, okay, there's clouds in the sky, but not the kind of clouds that would ruin any Milky Way photography. Why, was, why did there have to be any last night? <sighs> right out here at the end of this pathway where I can make it simple and... If the clouds open up, awesome. If they don't, you know, I can just go back to bed and be glad to know that I came out here and I tried. Easy going point. I probably would go down below here typically, but right now, don't have much time. I'm gonna capture a Milky Way shot after I get my focus really fast, just so that I can show the Milky Way in this terrain. Even if that doesn't end up working out with the moon setting, at least I can have evidence that I was here and, you know, tried my best. interesting seeing the sunset colors of a moon set it's still the orange moon as you see it on the horizon when it rises and when it sets but having these clouds right there that's interesting um, I'd love it more if there weren't any clouds so in this situation when you're out here 
at Dead Horse Point, you either have the moon lighting the terrain, doing a very long exposure lighting the terrain, or you go for sunrise or sunset to light the terrain. And I could wait until sunrise and try and get more of the Dead Horse Point area lit, but no, it's okay. I was hoping I was going to get the moonlight up at a high angle and I would capture it and then capture a different angle and a different angle just to show examples of natural lighting using the moon and making this place look cool and the way that the angle of the light from the moon would change would make it more and more interesting as the night went on. Instead, I got here with full cloud cover. Everything's such a blur now, 22 nights in, that I can't remember if I told you guys already that full cloud cover in this area when I arrived. Full clouds and so nothing to even begin to capture until now. And you can see in this time lapse that those clouds are coming over towards me, covering the Milky Way core every second with more and more heinous clouds. Ah, it's driving me crazy. It's something that we're working really hard to capture the Milky Way in full darkness between moonset and astro twilight and yet the clouds are not cooperating. I'm gonna go call it a night. Night 22, in the books, successful, eh, better than my other few nights that I've had this week, but at least I'm excited to end this going strong. I'm at Dead Horse Point. I haven't given up, I haven't done stuff easy, and tomorrow night we'll be at Oachomo Bridge at Natural Bridges National Monument, so I'm stoked. Thanks for following me. You guys, really appreciate it if you guys subscribe so you can see the new content that's coming out. There's especially Milky Way content, so stick with us. Thank you for the like, thank you for the thumbs up, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Chomo Bridge. Here it is. And as you can see in this spot right here, we get a nice window to look into the Milky Way in the southeast. The core will be right out there. And I got 20 minutes to take the shot, but all the way up until those 20 minutes, those last 20 minutes.